Well, so far the sun's been out today. It's been pretty nice. The air's a little chill, but it isn't bad. It's heated up a bit now. I don't know. It's like, uh, I ain't sure what time it is. It's afternoon. I know that. I think it's like one or two, perhaps. But you can see the sun's out. It's kind of hazy. It's overcast. But it has a little heat to it. It's nice out. The air's a little brisky, but it's fucking nicer than rain and shit probably is up there. Kind of a crazy traffic car day. I waited until I got across the crazy highway back there to do the vid. Uh, so I was just cruising up here. I was going to go to this grocery store to get uh, pastries and bread. But I was going to go down to the other one because I went up to this one this morning and they didn't have very uh they didn't have my favorite pastry for one and then their uh, their their breads are like a third the si less the size of the other ones they're both soriana supers which are like a a brand uh grocery store you know like uh like oh like we have winco okay that's okay so they got soriana supers <clears throat> and there's two of them there's one on uh, the Street of Mon 7th and Constitution. But then uh, there's one down on 3rd and Revolution. Revolution and Constitution are the two st main strips. Two main streets on the strip. They're side by side. They run this way. But uh, we're on Madero now. Next will be Revolution. Then after that would be Constitution. So on Revolution, I'm going to hook a right and freaking go fucking to that Soriana Super. They got a way better selection of pastries and the Barote breads are way bigger and better too. Although the ones I got up here at the one on 7th, because when I went up there last night, they didn't have like virtually any bread or pastries. They were like out. So this morning it was all fresh. So I got a couple warm breads. They were nice. But at this other story on a super, it has like a spiral shoot. If I get a chance, I'll bust out the video and do a quickie. But they, they probably, uh, actually, I probably won't because they have a bunch of security guards and they get all butt sore about that type of stuff here. <clears throat> but it has like this spiral shoot and it has like plexiglass on the sidewalls of it. And it spirals down and the breads come down it into the storage bin right there where you can put them on your tray. They have like these uh, like stainless steel or aluminum type trays with little clackers, you know, like little uh, tongs. Oh, yeah, like tongs, like little metal tongs, you know, get your breads and pastries. But it has this cool little spiral uh, deal that the breads go down and it goes into the big storage bin. I don't know. Kind of cool. Oh, but I've been there when they drop the breads and they're nice and hot. Get some good ass hot breads. They're good just by themselves. Or I like to take... The, barotes, they're good for everything, dude. They're basically like a fucking hot dog bun on steroids. Basically like a, a sourdough hot dog bun. But it's like three, three times the size of a hot dog bun. It's like three hot dog buns, four hot dog buns in one. Because it's like sourdough bread, so it's like a heavy bread. It isn't sourdough bread, though, because it's only... oh. It's only lightly sourdoughy, you know? It isn't full sourdough, but it does have a little tiny bit of sourdoughiness to it. So it is a good bread. It's like a famous classic bread or something because it lasts the longest. Oh, here's some cool graffiti. Wait, is this new stuff? I don't know if I've gotten pictures of this. Maybe the, the fucking metal was up. Have I? I don't think I've gotten pictures of that, have I, bro? I was sitting there taking uh, screenshot snaps photos while I was doing the video still. I don't know how the pictures turn out that way. 
I know the video looks nicer than the camera pictures if I do them separate. So maybe if I take camera pictures while I'm doing video that way, maybe it'll get the camera quality on the picture. That'll be nice. Yeah, I don't have those two uh, graffitis. I got all the others. Oh, wait. Hey, that's new, too. Check it out. This is fucking brand fucking new. You can tell, too, because the paint's fucking... Oh, cool. Those stars are badass. They're like little squares. Check that out. That's brand fucking new. Snapped a couple photos. Yeah, that's brand new. That's why maybe I didn't recognize a couple of those others. Maybe their work's in progress or they're new or whatever. So I say sometimes these steel doors, will, they'll be up or they'll be down. I think it just happens to be today that that shop wasn't open or something. Because those doors are usually up, I think. And so you don't ever see it unless it's at night. And then I can't get stuff at night on this. If the sun even begins to go down, I wouldn't be surprised if these pictures are kind of dark. They look kind of dark on my screen, but it, it always does in the day. I can't ever see the screen on this. I can see it actually fairly decent today, so that lets me know that the picture is probably fairly dark too, if I can see the screen. Now I'm, I've been going down Revolution now for a bit. Next street will be fifth. I went up seventh because I, when I left my pad, I took a left a little bit and then went up. Usually when I leave my pad, I take a right and go up like sixth. But 7th is a nice clean street. See, they redone this. This is, used to have that nice red. Remember the fucking red uh, Indian chick with the, the feather headdress, but it was red and black? It had that. I still got a photo of it. And it had that one that said, you go. And it had the one guy with, like, the fucked up eye and shit. And it was, dude, it had some badass graffiti there. And they redone it with that stupid kitty stuff. Doesn't that suck? Yeah, I had some badass graffitis right there. That one uh, Indian chick with the feather headdress, but it was all just in red and black contrasting. And it was a cool-ass picture. Devin liked it, too, and stuff. It was some of the original when I started doing the graffiti documentary. See, they're having the Tutankhamun and, and, and uh, computer graphic or animation or something or computer art exhibit, too. in common and then the computer art exhibit and then they have some other ones too it has pictures oh it's down constitution i think it has pictures of like werewolves and and a bunch of stuff and it's like computer art that i think it's college kids uh stuff see there used to be some badass graffiti in here too and it's gone now they painted it over it or got rid of it or something i still got a picture of it too as I say, I'm glad when I started, because when I start, oh, this is a, always a cool one. It's like psychedelic. He's he's really a trip in person. These are all, oh, yeah, this is the psychedelic area. That's why. See, it's got, this one's old. This one's pretty old and classic. Look how evil looking the donkey. Look at its evil look in its eye, though. It's like voodoo shit, dude. It's like uh, Los Muertes fucking shit or something. Which is like the religion of the dead or something or some shit. It's pretty popular, too. Got the graffiti of the rappers. Okay, new video. Oh, I guess I can go 15 minutes on these, but it seems like they mess up when I go that big. Oh, I got to hurry across. 